It is time, and welcome yet to another episode featuring your favorite Vitamin DGR, the voice you cannot forget. Hear it again on this beautiful Friday with, as you probably guessed from the title of this video, or rather the announcement, or however you are notified, yes indeed, another episode of Undead Darlings awaits. It has been some time, and I hope that everyone is well. The reason why I'm talking like this in some sort of fashion, I couldn't quite tell you. But nonetheless, to give a recap on our last episode, we, at least to my understanding, have explored more or less the school, and I have desires to finally beat the school. I really hope I can beat the school. I'm so done with the school, you have no idea. But nonetheless, it has to be done. But instead of being the boss, which you guys remember from my last episode, I have made my way to a pretty sure the boss area. Unfortunately, there's still something to do. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately. This episode is going to be a, definitely a talk-heavy one because we need to start doing all the sub-events at the school. Time to start doing some romance. Hopefully we get this done. Hopefully we get the right choices. Blah, blah, blah. You already know where we're going with this. And of course, uh, if you guys are intertuned, 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 seriously, it's like English is like so hard for me and it is a hard language. If you guys will be entertained by this episode, wish to hear more of my voice or wish to support me in my endeavors, I greatly appreciate a follow on my Twitch under the handle of Vitamin DGR, or you can subscribe on my YouTube channel. Well, you know you're in the right place when you see the local dog. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I seriously can't speak today. Well, regardless, I'm going to go first. I'm just going to, what's my party setup? Pearl Jordan Summer. Yeah. This is going to be getting through all the cutscenes. Every single one so I could be done with the school. Seriously, I can't believe I'm still at the school. It's not in a bad way, but it's like, come on. Give me a break, will ya? <clears throat> Alright, let's get to it. It has to be done. Nonetheless, I hope everyone's well. I was about to goof up something fierce. I hope everyone's well, uh, what accessories are all this? Right, I can go ham with this, uh, you don't need this. And... You... Could benefit from it. But not really. Alright, let's get to it. Well, let's see, where are the cutscenes, actually? Um... Oh, I guess I should, uh... Let's see. I have Pearl, Summer, and Jordan. Uh, on the first floor, 47YE. Sorry, I'm, I'm keeping the map up because I need to know where the heck I'm going. Uh, let's see. 47, 47. 47 would be more that direction? I think so. Well, for now, I might as well get out of here. These two, these areas. Alright, uh, going that way, no. 47-3, that's the one that, uh, I'm looking for. Complita uh, complimentary cafeteria food, starring Pearl, Jordan, and Summer, which is X-47-Y-3. X-47-Y-3, so Y is low. It's probably this one, right here. That's the only ones there. There's also another one at X9Y20. X9Y20, which means X would be... It would be high up here and low there. I think it's that one. So I think it's that one and this one I need to do. So, let's just get to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like I haven't really done any sub-events ever since I got to this section of the game. Uh, and if I have, maybe somebody can remind me. I just really feel like it's been a blur. And I get it, yeah, I haven't been doing many sub-events, or rather playing this game much. That still kind of feels bad, I mean, this game is a visual novel, to my understanding, of course. Uh, let's see, I need to go this way. Might as well nick some free items. Even though I don't need these what items. But why not? Um, oh yeah, I got new moves. Uh, every your blade stuck in your opponent's body. Yeah, that sucks. So I'm gonna use a few. I'm gonna do this to you. Oh, right, I got a physical team, huh? Ooh, I'm not looking forward to, uh... What I got planned next afterwards when I switch to the B team. Bye. Wow. 
That was crazy high damage. Holy moly, Pearl. Yeah, I'm not getting any experience either. Alright, let's see. I think I'm right on this. Uh, do I need to hit anything? Well, let me just make sure. I know, I'm sorry. I have, I keep getting, I keep saying this to myself. Stop putting up the map, but it's so handy. All right, is it this? Nope, okay, I need Kairi for that one, which means it is for sure that downward there, so which means I need to hit that switch again. Ugh, gross. What does it say? Melon Pond is the best? Juice Jitsu is the best. Make up your mind, is it Melon Pond or is it Juice Jitsu? I can tell what is the best. This crab that constantly is trying to get some gains. Go! Oh, wait. Oh, physical attacks, huh? Summer, this is your time to shine. Batters up! Remember, your leading foot can help determine the path of your projectile. While your rear foot... While your rear foot is used more to pivot. How many times are we going to flub up words? I'm strong, you know. I don't understand. I'm usually not that bad at reading. Winner. Is it the stress of becoming a streamer? Is it is it the the nervousness of trying to cater to an audience that could judge and watch and watch a judge? Is it the fact that I'm hungry? Yeah, it's probably a mix of all three. Cause as usual in typical vitamin uh, stream format, I'm hungry every time I stream. Ah, uh, I'm skin and bones. I swear. Yeah, I know we can, Jordan, but it's just a matter of... Ah, never mind. A black for you. A column of lava for you. And a slam for you. Do it! I'm strong, you know. We are beating the school this episode. I am going to beat it. And when I find my father, Dr. Happenstance, I got some choice words for him. For sure. Alright, summer level though. Okay, now I'm pretty sure this has to be one. Just in case. No more flubbing up words, vitamin. Come on, you got this. Let me just take a quick drink of my delicious Snapple Kiwi Strawberry. <sighs> the taste that's smooth. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Alright. As you traverse the school through the school, I don't understand. I don't. There's something wrong with me. My voice. My my powers. They fade. They 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 leave me. Let's try that again. As you traverse through the school, you come across some cafeteria food trays. Jordan motions to them, and then plugs her nose. Cafeteria food was barely edible before this outbreak. I don't know if I could stomach it now. <laughs> we can't stomach much of anything now, really. Heh, <laughs> fair point. Hmm? What's up? What's a fair point? This pen. We were just talking about how we can't eat the same foods anymore. Pearl eyes the cafeteria tray with suspicion. Was Jordan talking about cafeteria food by chance? Ugh. Busted. Huh? Yeah, that's what brought it up. Grr, Jordan! What? what Oh, whoops, slipped the summer though. What? what? It's a well-known fact that cafeteria food sucks. So you're saying your high school lunches sucked? You better think about this one, Jordan. Jordan's eyes twitch between Pearl's expression and her new friends. You already know what she'll do whatever she can to impress Summer, but it's fun to watch her squirm. I I'm saying cafeteria lunches suck. Alright, you three can't leave me in suspense. What the hell are you talking about? Why all the hairy eyeballs? That's disgusting. Seriously, Summer, why did she keep doing these weird analogies? I don't understand. Alright. <clears throat> Jordan never ever ate a cafeteria lunch. I made her a bag lunch every single day. So not only is she fibbing to you, She's also saying my lunches were gross. Uh, I think Pearl's lunches were great. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one for sure. On the contrary, my dear Pearl. Huh? 
It's an expression. Jordan is simply saying that she was ever so spoiled by her lunches. Hmm, I can say that more dramatically. Jordan was simply saying that she was ever so spoiled by her lunches that the mere thought of eating cafeteria food made her sick. Right? Uh, right. It had nothing to do with the mismatched foods that constantly gave me stomach pains. You are a good cook, Pearl. Yes, Pearl. You make good food. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. I'm confused. So Jordan never ate cafeteria food? Pearl's lunches were just that good? You pull Summer aside and whisper in a harsh tone. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Whisper harshly. Whisper more harsh words. And whisper again. Go with the flow, would you? If we can't make cafeteria food into a compliment about Pearl's lunches, she's going to kill us all in our sleep. Uh. I'm serious. She's a great cook, but when it comes to packing lunches... Hey, uh, Pearl? How about making us lunch one of these days? I mean, it sounds like I was missing out by eating garbage cafeteria meat. Reggie was telling me about that one thing. The... The, the uh... The, the, you know, the, the, the thing. With, with the lunch. And, and the other thing. Grape jelly and pepper. Ew. Actually? Oh my god, actually, a part of me is actually thinking about how that would taste. Grape jelly and pepperoni sandwich. What? Gross, man. My what? Uh, um, your grape jelly and pepperoni sandwich. I totally want one. Hmm. Her suspicions aroused. Pearl glares at you, and then at Jordan, hoping to break your defensive walls. You both hold your ground. You know, that was one of my accidental genius creations. That's what Reggie said anyway. I'd be glad to make us lunch once we can eat normal food again. Oh, God. I think I'd rather stake my chances as a zombie. Ugh, that's... Ugh. Sorry, I'm just... Thinking about it, like, okay, grape, jelly, and pepperoni sandwich? Oh, God, that actually just... And what's weird is that a part of me wants to try it, but at the same time, I don't want to try it. Nah, I don't want to try it. Oh, thank the jelly gods. Phew. Although, you know this means we'll have to eat that crap again, right, Reggie? Damn it. The conversation concludes, and everyone begins to explore refreshed. Hmm. So that one gave me a Jordan... A Jordan. That one gave me a Summer and a Pearl one, huh? I'm kind of curious. Jeez, even Summer's thing is higher. Kind of curious what the other choice is. Luckily, that's a small one. So in typical V fashion, I can reload the save and find out. I'm probably going to go with that one. Yeah, 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 cafeteria food's gross. Pearl gets upset because Jordan was making up stuff. Summer's like, what the heck's going on? I whisper because whatever. All right, let's be blunt. That's the thing, Pearl. Your lunches were pretty bad. What? I didn't say it. <laughs> Jesus. All right, thanks, friend. In fact, uh, I'm out of here. Thanks, Reggie. Jordan makes a hasty escape. You curse to yourself as she successfully shifted attention away from herself and onto you. You and your big mouth. Jordan knows you too well. You better explain yourself right now, mister. I'll have you know that Jordan never came home with leftovers, and neither did you, for that matter. I watched you gobble up everything I made each and every lunch period. Don't ever try to be smart with me. <laughs> You're so screwed, Ridge. Thanks, Summer. Pearl, listen. Individually, the things you made and the items you packed were good. But just like when you're putting together your outfit for the day, things have to match. Not always. Quiet, you. I have to get out of this hole. Fish sticks and orange juice... Ugh. Fish sticks and orange juice do not match. French fries do not go with chocolate pudding. Nobody puts a thick cut of pepperoni on the same bun as grape jelly. Where's the peanut butter, Pearl? Grr. So I forgot peanut butter sometimes, okay? And your bag and Jordan's were always next to each other. So maybe I throw the wrong things in them every once in a while. So silly. Maybe you should have just eaten cafeteria food instead then. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh at you. But I think I'd rather eat cold pizza from the cafeteria than those lunches. 
I never turned down free food, so of course I ate your lunches with a smile, Pearl. It just often ended up giving me gut rot. Fine, I don't care anymore. Aw, oh, that sucks. And that was just purely a Jordan one? Like, literally no point? Alright, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with my first guess. I got I owe Jordan one, though. Plus, that, that felt sad. If a girl decided to make me, like... Uh, oh, actually, I should probably, like, say this carefully, because Lord knows if somebody out there will be like, oh, yeah, let's bet. Hopefully, I don't have to get... Mm, if someone made me food, I would definitely try it. I would definitely try it, because I'd like to think that I'm pretty brave when it comes to food. But... Uh, you, got, you know what, viewers? You gotta tell me. Grape jelly and peanut butter, or or fish sticks and orange juice, or, or french fries and chocolate pudding. Which is funny, too, because I have an IRL friend that uh, will eat fries and dip it in, like, their shake. Because uh, there's a... Um, there's a Dairy Queen, uh, not exactly near where we are, but somewhat near where I am. Uh, yes. And whenever we, because Dairy Queen has like food and the, what is it, the, the blizzards, I think they're called. So what they do, because I know my friends are going to be like, who who's the weird one? I'm not going to out them. Nice try. Uh, what they'll do is that they'll eat, like, they'll eat whatever burger. They'll, they'll eat a burger and it's fine. They'll usually get the staple. They usually get the same thing, which is like a burger, one of the chocolate blizzard thingies, and some fries, right? That's just like, whatever. So here's what's iffy about it. Every time we go to Dairy Queen, and I kid you not, at least every time that I've been around uh, this person, let's say that much, and I know that person knows because I make jokes about them every time, uh, and I mean every time. Um, they eat the burger first, and it's like, all right, cool, whatever. Then they go, uh, and as they're eating the blizzard, the chocolate blizzard, or whatever, I think it's, no, it's not a chocolate blizzard, it's like a, like a chocolate something blizzard. I, I, I know it's chocolate in it. Um, what they'll do is they'll dip the french fries in the blizzard and eat it as is. And I, I remember the first time I saw that and I was like, are you, are you, are you serious? Like you, that's, that's good? And that person was like, yeah, you want to try some? And I was like. No, 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 not really. And usually I go crazy for french fries. I'm just not like... I don't know, first off, it may be because I'm not really into chocolate all that much. Gasp, that's right. <gasps> what? Vitamin doesn't eat chocolate? Ugh. I can eat vitamin... Uh, I can eat vitamin. I can eat chocolate, but I'd rather... I, I wouldn't go out of my way to have it, if that makes sense. And if I do, I gotta have a crap load of milk. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know how I feel about eating french fries and... Darn it, I gotta hit the switch. About eating french fries uh, with chocolate pudding. We can do it. And don't even get me started on fish sticks and orange juice. Oh god, that just... Who would eat that? Viewers, if any of you would like see these combinations, you're like, nah, it's fine by me, please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> like, grape, jelly, and pepperoni, fish sticks and orange juice, and then french fries and chocolate pudding. I think of those three combinations, if I had to choose one of the three that I like, if somebody was like, hey, you have to eat this, I'd be like, yeah, I I guess I have to. I'd rather not go out of my way to eat. Um... <sighs> Man, that's a tough choice. Fish sticks and orange juice, fresh fries and chocolate pudding, and then grape jelly and pepperoni. If I had to make a choice, like if I had no choice, like I had, I don't know, I was forced against my wishes, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I, my body is literally like rejecting the th me imagining that. I, I cannot. Here goes. But I know somebody's probably like, well, you have to make something up, Vitamin. You have to choose one. So I guess, and I hope I'm paid for this, I would probably do the french fries and chocolate pudding if I like had to make a choice. And I, uh, I just don't. I. I'm scared to. I don't want to do that. But hey, maybe you viewers do. If any of those three combinations, or better yet, if any of you viewers have a combination of those kinds of weird out there foods, like uh, like any of that nature, like grape jelly and pepperoni or something, if any one of you guys have some weird combinations, please let me know. And I'm not going to judge. I'm anything, I'm going to be like more curious than anything. 
because when I get down to thinking about it, I'm like, well, maybe to me it sounds gross or it sounds weird, but to them it might be like, it might be like delicious as all kinds. And if so, then I'd be very curious. Also, now that I think about it, sorry, just to get back into the game, not that I wasn't thinking of the game. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, she's got stuff. I gotta start using your stuff. Uh, does Summer have a weapon? Summer does have a weapon. Um, and then what is the sling of David? It has David ninth grade written on a permanent marker. That doesn't tell me what weapon it is. Alright, whatever. Cross the bridge will get there. Okay, I think I have one more cutscene here before I go to the next floor. It's between Jordan and Summer, I see. Like I said, I'm doing it this time. We are doing these cutscenes. We are getting the school done. I really hope so. Uh, wheat to wind, eh? Well, I don't have wind. As Jordan, at least. So I'm just gonna punch. Alright, that's one down. Ow! Ah, oh, Pearl, come on, man. You can do a little bit more damage. Alright, that's done. Uh, I'm full up. Uh, when you want to hide from that. Actually, I need that. I'm going to use that right now. Um, let me get rid of the crow pinion. And while I'm at it, let me use this monster chum. Not for too long, but for a good 30 seconds, I don't have to worry about enemies. I'll take what I can. Or 50 steps? Absolutely. Crap! Crap! I didn't hit the switch? Hello, star. For those wondering, Star has joined in. No, I am not referencing Star from Star vs. the Force of Evil. I'm talking about Star as in Estrella de Bruja. Or Estrella de Bruja. No, it's Abuja, not Abruja. Sorry, I, I quoted my friend Rodan. For those that have been mainstays of the Vitamin Offices, you may know him. Uh, who has a elegant way of saying Star's name. I, on the other hand, don't have that kind of capability. Suffice to say. How you doing, Star? Yeah. Yeah. Who just hit me with what? Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty obvious at this point. Whatever uh, chat says, I'll do it. I missed out on you, Smavi Hero. What the heck word is that? Smavi, what? I don't. What is that? I don't know how to even say that. Star says she's doing well. I don't even know how to like say. You know what? I'm just gonna move on. Star's doing well. That, that's the end all be all. LOL, no, I missed out on what you were saying about me. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. I was making a joke about you. And then Star said that she smashed her keyboard, man. Oh, well, I mean, don't do that. It's expensive. I can't afford to get you one. If you smash a keyboard, it'll come up and be like, blah, blah, blah. Star says I want to hear the joke. Uh, it wasn't really much of a joke. It was just me making simple banter. I'm, I'm serious. I wasn't making a joke. I'm not even like a thing. But of course, Star, if you really want to, you could just go back to the video. Oh, well, I guess you can't right now because you're watching my live feed, but you can always watch it later. I would love to keep going. Star says, want my Discord Nitro instead. <laughs> oh yeah, you are on Discord. Which, by the way, folks, in case people don't for some reason know, uh, I have a Discord. Star said, bruh. Hey, I get a chance to do a shameless plug-in? Of course I'm going to do it. Uh, for those that don't know, here at the offices of Vitamin DGR, I have a uh, Discord. So in case you guys want to like rant about me, get my ideas on things, or just hear from me, I guess. I'm always willing to chat, as long as life doesn't happen. Uh, Star says I want to hear you out. No, not the plug in SMH. Oh. Well, I really didn't make much of a joke, to be fair. It was just me saying, like, I was trying to quote Rodan. Uh, for those that don't know, Rodan is a mainstay in my Minecraft journeys, uh, which we haven't done in a minute. I have to talk about him. I'll talk to him in a second about that. Um, who is capable of speaking very elegant Catalan. Uh, Star says, I meant I want to hear it. Now I gotta remember the time chart. 
Don't worry, it, it honestly wasn't a joke, Star. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Yo, Jordan! Oh, right, I forgot. <clears throat> Star says I missed them. Hopefully they are well. Don't worry, you'll be hearing from Rodan very soon. <clears throat> Yo, Jordan! Summer inexplicably slaps Jordan on the back of her puffy vest. What? Was there a spider on me or something? Meh, sorry. Just trying to get your attention. You're walking right next to me. Saying my name would have been enough. Hmm, yeah, I guess no one else is around you. Except for, you know, the one guy. Say, baby, I love you. Uh, Star says, I'll just have you in the background, and congrats on being so close to your goal of 60 followers. Oh, thank you! Yeah, I am trying to reach a goal. I'm actually surprised that I've gotten this high. Uh, hopefully I'm, I'm entertaining you guys. I hope I not, like, bore you guys. Well, to be fair, I just gotta do it like I'm doing to myself. I gotta entertain myself, because I like seeing myself, uh, play these games and making random jokes and talk about anime. Oh, I didn't do my random anime intro! Oh, no! Oh, crap. Um, um, random anime intro. Random anime intro. Uh... Love after world domination. There you go. Uh, there's your there's your random anime intro. I, I will do better next episode. I apologize, y'all. Say, baby, I love you. If you ain't running game. Oh no! Don't get sucked into his nonsense. <laughs> oh come on! I kind of thought about it as soon as I opened my big mouth. Fine, whatever. You have my attention, so what do you want? I've been thinking since we went all over this school. I know I went to a different high school than all of you, but you're close with Frenchie and Pearl, right? I guess. Oh, I guess. Dude, don't be so non-committal. You are. F fine, okay. Make her say it. I dare you. <laughs> I don't know, man. That sounds like a dare I'm gonna lose. Why are we picking on me again? I I'm close with Pearl. And him. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> the damn it all, scurry belt. Sorry, it was just too perfect. Also, I wonder if I'll get DOCBA for doing that very terrible uh, rendition of Say my name, say my name. No one is around you, say baby I love you. <clears throat> okay, okay. What I was gonna ask is, why didn't you go to school with them, Jordan? Do you live really far away? Oh, that. Um. Uh, she lived with Pearl. She's a private person. Didn't she live with Pearl? I kind of trying to think like she did, but I don't fully remember. Hmm. Well, no. I I think she did live with Pearl, but I wonder if she'll. I'm kind of curious about the private person thing. I'm gonna do it. I guess you could say Jordan's a private person. Huh? No argument there, but I don't get it. Because you went to private school. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, I thought you were being clever. Shame on me. <laughs> oh, I'm slipping into pearl when I said that. So in other words, transferring would have been a pain? Something like that. I guess I get it then. It sucked to have to make all new friends just for that. I don't know. As someone that moved around a lot, I've been through a lot of schools, uh... In my days, uh, and I before someone's like, "Oh, is it that bad? You didn't make many friends." I've, I've made a few, but I don't know. Being able to travel around and move around a lot wasn't that bad to me. But I digress. She would have had me and Pearl, but something tells me she'd gotten sick of us real quick. See you at school. See you at home. Yeah, that'd be pretty tiring, right? Pretty much a married couple, huh? W what? Oh, w what? No. <laughs> You're as red as your hair. Shut it. You're right, Reg. Teasing her is so satisfying for some reason. I know. It's like a drug. I think we're getting addicted to you, Jordan. Ugh. Maybe I'll force you to quit cold turkey. Summer starts laughing again and moves a little bit away from you and Jordan. The latter takes this opportunity to flash you a small smile. Thanks for derailing her. Yeah, but do me a favor and try to talk to her about it, okay? What? Well, why? It's not my place to say, but I think you two would really benefit from opening up to each other. Uh, oh, thanks. I'll think about it. The conversation concludes, and everyone begins to explore, refreshed. Yeah, there is some good, like... There seems to be some good synergy between, uh... 
Summer of Jordan. I've noticed that. Um, I can't do anything else here. I need CC, Kyrie. I need CC and Kyrie for that. So before I go back, I just, again, I want to make sure I get every single cutscene I have with this team. All right, what do I need in this floor? Uh, Pearl and Emily? And in case one's wondering, I know where the boss is. It's that little black square there, but I can't do it yet. Okay, I need Pearl and Emily for this floor. I'll keep it in mind. I don't think I need that, right? Yeah, I don't need that. Goodbye. Where's the staircase? This way? Get ready, everyone. I am ready. The question is, are you? Are you ready for fight? Um, let's see, what was I going to say? So, I'm, I'm, again, usually I just like rant as I do it, but strong, viewers, uh, as usual, I gotta entertain you guys with some sort of banter or something that you probably didn't need to know, but you're welcome for. Um, oh, that poisons? Oh, amazing! I forgot about that. It's nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, a video I saw. Uh, I don't know if I talked about it. I don't, I'm pretty sure I haven't. At least if I have, it definitely wasn't in my playthrough of this. But, uh, I saw a bunch of random videos, as usual, because the YouTube algorithm is a very interesting thing. I don't know what it takes to get the YouTube algorithm to work for me. But, what I can say with absolute certainty is that they definitely are starting to nail my weird, out there sense of humor. Um, let's see, who do I need here? I need Kyrie, I need Emily, I need Emily, and then there's one here that I don't know who. Hmm. Just in case I fall, though. Please tell me I got some flashlights. Oh, I only have the one? Alright. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't think there's really anything else after this. I think this is the last area. So, time to use a flashlight. But, yeah. So, the YouTube algorithm, beautiful thing, I will admit, uh, recommended me a video. I'm just gonna say it right now. I am very impressed by, like, the ingenuity or boredom of people because uh They're already dead. so okay i'm just gonna get rid of it someone i don't know who but they they must have spent like how many hours to do the shrek movie the first shrek movie but only when they say the e like the letter e and you're probably wondering to yourself what does that mean i don't know how to tell y'all but it's so weird I'm probably gonna be like, what the heck are you talking about? So bear with me. I watched it twice. And it's weird, like, the first time I saw it, I felt like I still knew exactly what parts just from listening. Like, I don't know. I mean, obviously the second time I made certain of it, but the first time I watched it, I listened to it, and there were parts where I, like, closed my eyes, and I was like, yeah, no, I can imagine each and every scene. And obviously it, it skips to each time, so it's like, okay, are they not seeing E? Then they'll play it. So maybe they'll do like a cutscene of uh, Shrek walking, completely silent. And then the minute somebody talks or there's a musical note or anything that has an E at some point, it just jumps to that and continues on and on. And it goes faster and faster and faster. I think it's like a two minute video. Uh, let me tell y'all something. It is, <laughs> it is funny. It's so random. Oh, first off, the editing they had to do. I'm obviously not taking credit for this, because this isn't me. I'm just a fan of this. But the editing they had to do, just to be able to do that, it astounds me. Like, how on earth were they capable of doing that? Like, maybe it's because I, I can't edit, or I don't know how to edit yet. But it's still one of the things, why didn't I use better attacks? That was the only thing. It's just one of the things where I was like, wow, they really went ham with this. And I'm very impressed by it. Again, yeah, he was probably bored, or maybe somebody dared him and was like, oh, well, there goes those fists. Or maybe someone was bored, and they were like, hey, I'll give you, like, 20 bucks if you can, like, do this undead supplements. That's new. A small pack of these ensure every undead has met their daily nutrition goals. Oh, removes ailments for the party? Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Um, what do I get rid of, though? Uh, let me get rid of the armor-plated cardigan. That's very good. But yeah, I found that just shocking, really. Have I explored every area in this place? 
There's down there, but how do I get down there? I have to go through there and run around. Wow, there's actually some stuff on this floor I haven't done. Please give me a flashlight. Nope, just more freaking Meow Meow fists. On the bright side, I don't just have to worry about summer. On the downside, my flashlight's done, so I hope I don't fall. I really hope I don't fall. Okay, where's the new area? Um, if I go this way, there's a pathway continuing that leads to stuff. I'm just scared because if I fall, I have to backtrack. Lord knows how far. Give me this. Halloween saver. Lame! And I don't have Kyrie either, so I don't need it. Then again, I'm getting a lot of scrap, so it's gonna be nice. But yeah, uh, oh, don't worry. That, that was only one. Um... And I found myself just stunned because I was like, I I'm just curious on why. Why did they did the whole, excuse me, the entire the Shrek movie? And I got recommended for the second one. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but who in their right mind was like, you know what? I got nothing to do. I'm bored. I don't know, like, my girlfriend or boyfriend is busy. Or I, I don't have to do anything with my kids. I'm just sitting here on my couch and be like, I'm going to make a lot of people laugh for no reason whatsoever. I'm going to do the whole Shrek movie, but only when they say the E sound. If I had that kind of time and patience on my hands, I would be doing the dumbest edits. I am not even joking. I am so jealous of people like that. I wish I was half as, like, creative as them. Because that's just astounding. Ugh, I don't want this. Oh, there's a cutscene over there. Oh, I found the last cutscene. Now I just gotta hope I don't fall. I might be save scumming, y'all. I'm just saying. And for co uh, for those that don't know, save scumming is basically I'm saving, I'm reloading. I'm not trying to fall down. Okay, so far so good. Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope! I need Emily. On the bright side, I think I've discovered every cutscene there is. So at least I don't have to worry about any missing cutscenes. On the downside, I'm gonna have to backtrack a lot and do a lot of characters. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. But on the topic of editing, which makes me wonder if I should relabel this episode or something. Uh, do I want this? Like, do I need this thing? Um, I do have two things for Jordan. Yeah, okay. Um, speaking of good editing, or at least very impressive editing, another thing the YouTube algorithm showed me was uh, Avengers. Am I able to say this? I'm wondering. Um... Granted, the movie came out, like, when did uh, when did Endgame come out? Like, four years ago? Five years ago? I know it was definitely before um, the Backstreet Boys tour. But let me say this. Uh, I won't give too many details away, but in case this is a spoiler for anyone that hasn't watched Avengers, please watch Avengers. It, it was the last good movie before, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, Shang-Chi was good. I wasn't really much of a fan of Eternals. I haven't seen Thor Love and Thunder yet, at least by the airing of this video. Um, and, well, we're probably getting closer to, uh, Ant-Man Quantumania. <clears throat> At least I think we are. Uh, which definitely looks good. But, uh, I'm just gonna say it right now. Potential spoiler warning. I won't give too much away. In fact, I'm, I'm literally just gonna be very brief that there is a scene where a number of people show up. Yeah, that scene. The really cool scene that I know audiences were, like, losing their flipping minds over. So, the reason I bring this up is because I'm trying to remember what the title of the video sure. is. Granted, it wasn't that long ago. I don't remember what the title exactly is, but I do know the premise. Which was also amazing editing. But essentially, some brilliant or bored soul decided, you know what I'm going to do? When they have the moment where the characters gather, let's just say that much. Uh, I kid you not, that they have not just the... Avengers and superheroes, but they have like all sorts of characters. So they have characters like the Ghostbusters or Jack Sparrow or Robocop or um, I think the Turtles, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they have the, I think, the Brendan Fraser, a great actor by the way, from The Mummy. 
they have like some very random edits and scenes of like all these people that normally aren't even supposed to be a part of it and yet they're a part of it and I just stunt uh, do I need this? I probably need this. I'll keep it. Um, who's got another weapon to use? Because I kind of want this Grouchy Bucho. Eh, I probably don't need it. Let's do some quick uh, item equipment. Uh, do you benefit from this? Your dexterity and agility gets higher, which is nice. Do you benefit from anything else? Summer, do you benefit from anything? I don't want to cut your attack. At all. Okay, Summer benefits nothing from any of this. Okay, what about Pearl? Do you benefit from any of this? Uh, I can increase your attack and dexterity, but lose everything else? Nah. So, Jordan, you benefit from something, right? I cut your attack by four, your defense by one, your resistance by... One in exchange for a much higher dexterity agility. Done. Let's see. I don't want to cut that at all. Yeah, okay. I think I can get rid of this equipment I have. There's going to be a hole here. I just know it. I'm scared. But no, the editing is so crazy. Because they have, like, characters that... They're like, why would they include uh, uh, all these random show, uh, all these movie characters in it? And you're probably thinking to yourself, like, why? And honestly, when I think about it, I'm like, you know what? Why not? Oh, there's a hole. <sighs> what I tell you, I knew there was a hole. Ow. All right, where am I? Hmm. Well, on the bright side, that wasn't that bad. On the downside, I have to go backtrack. So, let's use a hook and get the heck out of here. But on the bright side, I think I've discovered all the sub-events. Alright, so let's take a look. On the first floor, I need Jordan to stay. I need Kyrie and Cece instead of Summer. Maybe I should do one at a time, right? Get rid of the first floor people. And then work my way up to the second floor and onward and onward. That'd probably be the best. I know I need a lot of CC and Kyrie for sure. I keep seeing a lot of uh, CC and Kyrie pop ups. And Emily too. And I want Emily to be the end game. So whoever I need for Emily, Emily wants to stay. So I need Jordan and CC, Kyrie and Summer, and then Kyrie and CC. So Kyrie for sure. And then CC, I guess. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Why did I do that? I need Kyrie. Okay, then I need CC or Summer. CC or Summer. So let's do Summer real quick and then we'll go to CC. I'm trying to do all the people I need Summer for. I'm trying to do floor by floor. If that makes sense. So that way I can just get it over with. So I need to really think this out. There's one with CC. There's two with CC actually. So if I do CC and get rid of two right now, both on the first floor. Exchange though, I need Summer to go. Wait. No, I need Jordan to go. That won't work. I have to do Jordan and CC one and then Jordan is replaced. Oh, I need to replace Jordan with someone. Okay, then let me do... Let me give her a pearl real quick. For CC. Jeez, I can't believe I'm doing... There's so many CC ones, too. That's the crazy thing. I don't know. I feel like I've been hitting with CC lately. And not trying to make a reference, but... For those that haven't seen that episode... Like, two or three episodes ago, the really heavy CC one... I, I'd recommend. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Believe me, it's worth... Oh, man, that's a lot. Um, yeah, she can use the Peacock Spear afterwards. Can you benefit from this? Can you benefit from this? Okay, she cannot benefit from any of these. At least as high as I want her to. What about Kyrie? No. Um, if I give her the ankle weights... Nah. I think I just got a bunch of random jumps. Okay. Okay, I have Jordan CC, which is X0, Y9. 
X zero Y nine. Is that this one over here? Ugh, I hate that it's all so far away. Why is there not a shortcut to get me there quicker? Who am I kidding? In a game like this, it makes sense. Is this a shortcut? Does this take me to the left? Where am I? It might be a shortcut. Especially if I fall down. Actually, that might work out. Yeah, it will work out. Because if I fall down here... I think that'll help. Wait, there's a Jordan CC one on this floor? X32, Y3? Y3, which is down there. Oh! Ah! Uh, neither by intent, but... Hey, if I can do it real quick, sure. I do have to fight, though. Eh, yeah, whatever. Let's go. I feel like I haven't really been playing much with Kyrie lately. I'm gonna have to really, like, work on that later. Um... Let's use buzzed. Let's use sniping. No, let's use hat trick, because that's stronger. And... Hard slash, I guess? Ugh, not enough. He did poison, though. Alright, one down. Let's see. Um, wait. Why does CC have this move? CC doesn't learn dark moves. It's the spear. CC has a move that she normally doesn't learn. I don't think CC normally knows um, dark type attacks. So I got confused for a second because I was like, wait, what? I forgot, I have a spear that gives me that. Oh, well, there goes the kunai. But yeah, I feel bad. I think I want my end team to be Emily and Kyrie, but the problem is, I don't know who to have as a third one. Maybe Summer? Yeah, probably Summer. I think I want that to be my end team when I like beat this freaking dungeon. Uh, what's your best thing? Iron Hungamunga? 190, 275, 227. I lose some agility. I think the Iron Hunger Munga is better. Because she's not really a harder hitter. Yeah, let's do the Horn Dog Bow. Though, again, I forgot what our Sling of David is. I don't know what the Sling of David is supposed to be. Nah, I'm going to use the Horn Dog Bow. But more importantly, I'm pretty sure this is the one with, uh, Jordan CC. Man, I'm just gonna have to really work on, uh... I need to work on my Jordan voice. I don't I don't really have a good Jordan voice. I thought maybe if I talk like this, it'd be better for Jordan. But it's not really easy to do. Wowzers, there's so many classrooms here. I wonder if there was a lot of brain segregation stuff. What the heck does that mean? What exactly what I'm thinking? What are you even... That's unbelievable. I wish it weren't true. I know, right? Everyone graduates in four years, so how come people gotta be all smart and stuff? A stupid piece of paper is all you get. Doesn't matter if you totes bumble through geometry or breeze through AP calculus. Well, that's not really what I was talking about. Huh? Oh look, another bottle of cream cord soda trademark registered. What? <laughs> CC. CC wanders off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That broke me a bit. CC wanders off. She's really in a world all her own, huh? That's why it's so hard to believe. What is? So, when I was a freshman, CC was in my senior class. We never talked or anything, but maybe we passed each other in the halls a few times. I never paid much attention to her. How could I have known we'd end up together like this? Don't get so worked up over it. I'm more concerned about Summer, Kyrie, and Emily since they don't have any connection to our past like she does. Oh, that's not what I mean. Sure, I never really talked to Cece at school, but I kind of imagined her differently. How so? Uh, smart. <laughs> if only you knew. If only you knew, Jordan. How so? I guess I should have started out by saying she was the valedictorian for the senior class. 
CC what? Oh my god, I keep getting weird reality checks. It's like these weird punches to the face every time I deal with CC, man. See? Even Reggie agrees with me. What? Her? You, you, you point at CC, who has picked up a bottle of cream corn soda registered, and is attempting to trademark, by the way, TM, excuse me, and is attempting to coerce any remaining drops of the liquid from by tampering above her mouth, as if it were a bottle of ketchup. Exactly. You know, in movies, the smart girl with beautiful blonde hair tends to be some kind of classy noble woman. Or they at least have that air of regality to them, how they talk, compose themselves around others, etc. But she, ugh, book smarts or street. <laughs> I don't care. I'm doing that. She's probably a street shark. I, I really hope they're making a reference to a very old card. It was before me, but I have a friend IRL that does talked about it, and my dad watched it when uh, he was younger. Uh, but there was an old cartoon called Street Sharks, which I hope I'm not wrong on this. And maybe, and I don't want to offend anybody because, again, I don't know too much. I know he talks about it every now and well, he used to talk about it every now and then. Is Street Sharks basically like the shark equivalent of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Biker Mice from Mars? Like, because I know they're like anthropomorphic sharks that like talk and fight that are in the city, but doesn't that kind of feel very turtles esque? I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody. If anybody that's a fan of street sharks can tell me, by all means, tell me. I'm, I'm curious. <clears throat> She's probably a street shark. <laughs> you see what I mean? See, even this game's referencing it. CC doesn't seem like the rollerblading type. I'm not making an obscure cartoon reference this time. I'm talking in edgy slang. Well, whatever. Slang changes. So, what are you saying? Uh-oh. Did that head wound cause you to forget? We made up the meaning to it together. You know I'm having trouble remembering things. Don't be a jerk. Explain it to me like a normal person. Cece bounds over to you and Jordan, having discarded the bottle of soda along the way. What you talking about? Street sharks. Ooh, I love rollerblading. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I love it so much. It's so funny. Ooh, I love rollerblading. See? Nobody knows what you're trying to say, Reggie. Fine, fine. Jordan and I came up with that term, rather we hijacked it, and used it to describe certain people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A street shark, in our little world, meant a person who used their wiles to get ahead of those who were otherwise superior to them. Like smashing your boobies against someone. Or like acting dumb when you really aren't. Ooh, yeah. That's an effective one, too. I've done it a few times when I went to the National Museum of Science and History. What? What? I mean, ooh, cream corn soda trademarked. Feminine wiles are one weapon, sure. I think we use it to describe many. Uh, excuse me. I think we use it to describe manipulative people, kind of like street smarts versus book smarts. Now I remember. Street sharks have street smarts to outsmart the book smart. Street sharks have street smarts to outsmart the book smart. Street sharks have street smarts to outsmart the book smart. Street sharks have street smarts to outsmart the book smart. I oh man, street sharks have street smarts to outsmart the book smart. I don't know if I can do that faster. Wow, that's crazy. You see, I want viewers to try it. There you go. Say it. Say it fast. Don't to don't type it. Say it. Introduce it to your friends. You're welcome. Thank you, undead darlings. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. I don't know why that suddenly popped into my head, but I totally remember now. And it describes Cece pretty well. I'm a street shark. That's so cool. Weren't you listening? It means that you weren't valedictorian because you're book smarts. You manipulated things to get the honor. Oh, well if I did, that'd make me seem super duper smart too. We had an unweighted GPA scale, so it's true that I wasn't in all the hardest classes. But just like Fontaine Oranges, I'm the best. Whoa. And humble, too. Uh-huh. Jordan's annoyed at me. D don't make that face if you know I'm pissed. So you don't deny it? I mean, you still had to get good grades, right? Yeah, but the classes were easy. I didn't want to go into some advanced ones because Papa said smart girls are too intimidating. He said that I should always try to seem obtainable. Damn. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Holy crap. 
That's rather degrading. No, uh I had all A grades, not D grade. Oh God, Cece. Cece laughs, but you feel a little bit of anxiety in her voice. Her eyes look off to the side as well. Whatever. All I learn is that Cece's smarter than she acts. And I'm deaf as smart as I look. She puffs out her chest after saying this, as if she made a clever observation or turn of phrase. Maybe she did? Damn, she's good at this. Yeah, I've got an entirely different kind of respect for her now. The conversation concludes, and everyone begins to explore refreshed. If it wasn't painstakingly obvious, <clears throat> and I don't think this is a spoiler, I really think that people are watching my episodes consistently, Cece's freaking smart. And not just like, oh, she's like, oh, she knows a lot. Like, she's ridiculously smart. And quite frankly, I find that messed up, Papa, that you think that she'd be a turn Like, that's a total turn on. A girl that's smarter than me? Of course. <clears throat> There's probably a good number of girls that I can think of. But girls that are smarter than me? Oh, man, that's a total turn on. Brains for everything. You think me with my simple self am capable of figuring out, like... I don't know, the fact that you need a t uh, <clears throat> I can't take credit for this. I, f I swear I feel like I've talked about this. And this is definitely gonna be the, for the boring, well, I don't wanna say boring. It may be interesting to some people. Uh, I really feel like I talked about this at some point. Maybe I talked about it IRL. I don't know if I talked about it in an episode or two, but uh, I, won't, I won't name drop, but I used to go to a, uh, a science class. Uh, duh, I, I know, obviously, right? So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, also, now that I think about it, before I go further, should I redo that cutscene? Just to see if I should have done the intro? Well, I kind of like that one. Plus it was funnier, so I'm moving anyway. Um, there was a science class I went to, uh, and they were like, hey, we want you to do like a report on something, because you know, book reports, which is messed up that science made me do it, but whatever. He slash she, don't worry, I won't name drop. Actually, you know what? There's probably a bunch of people that have, like, this name. And if not, then whatever. Because I'm pretty sure it's not, like, a uh, an uncommon name. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name drop Miss Magnuson. And if by some random chance you know who I am by the tone of my voice or know me IRL, I'm sorry, I have to say this because it's still ridiculous. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I'm out of... What? I ran out of room? Ah, oh, what? Hold on, sorry. I gotta get rid of something. What are these? Minerals? Stat debuffs? Ah, oh, forget that. Uh, Ms. Magnuson gave us, like, a book report. Uh, this was in... Because I had her in, like, two years. I think the first time was my freshman year. Um, I'm trying to remember when specifically. I, I remember... So much else. Uh, whatever. Let's just assume it was freshman year. I, I don't... It might have been sophomore year, but I, I'm pretty sure it was freshman year. Um, Ms. Madison had us do, like, various different, like, book reports and everything. Uh, just something on the topic of science. I guess it was supposed to be, like, some sort of thing where... And I don't know if this makes sense, but I, I remember that it was, like, oh, to test and see, like, one's capabilities for, like... Can you adapt to not just science, but we can also do, like, literature? Or maybe you could do health and science with addition to this. Like, I guess crossing over two subjects with one. I don't know if that like makes sense to somebody. Maybe somebody that knows can tell me, because I mean years later I still don't know. Ooh, I discovered something. Stab and slash. Ooh. Ooh. Done. As expected. They're done for. Damn, that was awesome. Oh man, I don't know what macro that was, but I'm setting that sucker up right now. Uh that was between who? Sorry, I gotta I gotta figure that out real quick. What did I do? I know Kyrie did something. I think it was Hard Slash and Jordan did hat trick. Yes. Team up and get to the stabbing and slashing. Bob, weave, juke, and dodge between opponents and strike when you have an opening. Oh, wait. No, that feels familiar. Nah, darn it. That's not a new move. Oh, I already have that move. That feels familiar to me. Darn. Oh, well. Uh, Miss Magnuson... I'm just gonna I'll wrap this up real quickly. Actually, I should probably do this cutscene first before I do it. We can continue with Miss Magnuson afterwards, uh, and the weird book report. 
study report. I don't know how to describe it. Whatever, let me do this cutscene real quick. <clears throat> Number munchers, math blasters. What are you mumbling about now? I'm trying to remember all the games we played in computer lab. Someone's obviously still on the PCs from this school, but it made me think about my time in that class. And then, uh, I I'm only trying to remember as much as I can because the memories are important to me. That's all. I didn't ask. Oh? Did you like Computer Lab too? Yeah, I had a great teacher. He focused on practical things, like making and editing videos, which kind of made me get into my video blog series. Man, I wish I had someone like that. Ooh, Nito. When I was in Computer Lab, it was an old lady. She was all about business and spreadsheets and making buttons click on stuff and power something. <laughs> Sorry, I was bad. Try not to laugh or try to be composed here. It gets me. I remember her. She was just some office faculty member when I took the class. I think the teacher was new. Wait a sec. Jordan, we went to the same school. Oh, yeah, of course we did. It, yeah. Why didn't you say so? Oh my gosh, we're best buddies now. N no. Wait, wait, wait. Did you tell me already? Just kidding. Get it? Cause your memory is the poopy one. Oh god, Cece. Even Cece is ripping on you? Jesus, Jordan. <laughs> this is why I didn't say anything. Honestly, I figured you wouldn't recognize me because I was a freshman when you were a senior. I knew all my classmates, Goofy. I didn't talk to anyone Mama and Papa didn't approve of, though. You had longer hair back then. Heh, <laughs> not really. I just let it down, or did it up like summer. Wow, my mind is blown. So tell me about this other computer lab guy. Was he hot? Uh, ladies, I'm right here, or private school uniforms, huh? Hmm. I am kind of... <sighs> yeah, I want that one. You know what's hot? The uniform you two had to wear. See, that's why I was going. I want to see where Reggie goes with this. Some of these, some of the choices, it's like, how do I think I'm going to say something? And then what does the game make me say? If that makes sense to y'all. <clears throat> you know what's hot? The uniform you two had to wear. Oh, that's disgusting. Two inches above the knee. Huh? Our skirt length regulation. They couldn't be shorter than two inches above our knees. I go in trouble for that all the time. Even when I had it hemmed to be the right lane. All the boy teachers kept telling me to come to their office. And they measure it to make sure it wasn't too short. Oh, that's... Actually, that is disgusting. They always had such red faces when they realized they were wrong. I don't think this is as innocent a story as she's making it out to be. My thoughts exactly, Jordan. It sounds like you dodged a few, bu a few bullets, Jordan. Good thing you weren't an early grower, huh? Damn it! Stop trying to make jokes about my height. Oh, was it about your height? Cece just looks older than me, okay? I I'm sure she was a bombshell in school and everyone thought she was older than 18. Why are you getting so worked up, Jordan? I was just joking. What? J Jeez, why does everyone tase me? Cause it's kind of cute actually. There we go. <laughs> the skirt thing was a real thing though. I got in trouble for it but nobody made me hem it to be longer. They said I just have really long legs, so there's nothing I can do about it. Are you joking again? This is getting ridiculous. I don't know. Man, everyone is just ripping Jordan a new one this episode. Holy mackerel. More importantly, I think I've done all the ones here. Is there any other ones that need Jordan? I feel like I should do Jordan ones. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's do all the ones that need Jordan, so that way I can switch off the teammates. That makes sense? I think it makes sense. Bye. Plus, I can also free up some space. So, give me one second. I'm going to store some... I'm going to store a flat soda. I'm going to store a chocolate gummy. I apparently am running out of room in my... Uh... Whatever, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Um, I think I'm good. Yeah. Okay, do I need Jordan for anything else? 
I need Jordan still on the other part of the first floor with Summer and Emily. And... Need Jordan for the second floor. I want to get Jordan out of the way. I need Jordan for three more cutscenes. I need Jordan and Emily. I need Jordan, Summer, and Emily. So maybe I'll switch to Summer and Emily in a quick second. And I need... Please be Summer for this middle one here. Jordan, 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 Jordan. No, but I need Pearl. Okay, so I need Jordan, I need Pearl, I need Emily. Okay, I, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to do all the ones with Jordan. I'm just going to get one girl at a time done. So that way when I'm finished that I can rock on my, my final team. So Jordan, you're staying. I need Pearl and I need Emily. Which is good because now that I think about it, I kind of forgot what voice I gave for uh, Emily's voice impressions. And what sucks is, realizing these cutscenes are taking a minute to get to, I'm worried if I'll be able to actually get them all done. No, I have to get them done this episode. I don't care how long it is. Alright. Now, where is the closest one for Jordan? Oh, I need Summer for the first floor. Crap. Alright. Summer instead. Okay, I need summer for I need them for one floor E. <clears throat> Come on, where's the other Jordan ones? I need Pearl and Cece in the end. I'll probably be the last one I do. And then I need them in the second floor. Okay. So I need the first floor E and then the second floor. I think it's this one, right? Yes. Which is 26XY7. So it's low and over here. Where am I? So it's low and all the way over here. So I think it's E. 7Y? I think it's this one, this middle one here. All right, let's go for it. It'd probably be easier if I had a monster charm. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, but to finish off the uh, the thing with Ms. Baggerson, because I know somebody's probably wondering what the heck I'm talking about. Ooh, I need those something fierce. Um, we had to do like a Baron report. It was like, oh, choose a topic, and then we want to hear like your reasoning for it on why you, you chose this specific topic. Um, and I remember why I thought of it. I don't know why, of all the things, that's the thing that came to my mind, but it is the thing that popped in my mind, or uh, that uh, so happened. Um, Futurama had an episode, I'm strong, uh, I'm trying, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, I guess like time kept like jumping ahead, or something like that. I know it had like their version of the Harlem Globetrotters or something, which were like these superhuman, like smart super people or something. Um, Bear with me, I'm going somewhere with this. Uh, and I remember my uncle, uh, who like helped come up with the uh, idea for me. He was like, hey, how about you like do like time travel and stuff? Which by the way, for those that are wondering, I don't like time travel. I, 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 I don't like time travel. I get it, yeah, if we had the ability to like go back and like redo something or change something up, it'd be cool, sure. I'm not a time travel kind of guy. It just is what it is. Sorry-ish. Um, but time travel is totally not my jam. Um, but there was uh, an episode of Futurama where they kept like jumping through time and everything. Um, so long story short, I decided I know what my report will be. How about I do things on time travel like my uncle said. Um, so I talked to my teacher about it, Ms. Magnuson. And she was like, oh, okay, V. Uh, why exactly did you choose uh, time travel? Like, what's like your premise of it? And luckily I had a... I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> the a majority of it was thanks to my uncle. Oh, this is the wrong one, darn it. A majority of it was thanks to my uncle, who helped come up with the inspiration for it. Uh, thanks, Unc, you're the best. Um, 
But one of the things that miss, uh, that we had a we had I'm just gonna get to it. We had a debate, and it was a really it got to a surprisingly heated debate. And granted, yeah, maybe I didn't know as much as I was hoping, but I definitely knew enough to the point where I knew I was winning the debate. Like I don't think I know. Like I guess when you get to a point, you kind of feel like yeah, you know, you're winning a debate. Clearly, your words are true. Blah blah blah, that kind of deal. So the reason I bring this up is because oh man, I don't have a thing for it. Darn it. Um, my argument that I have with, Mag with Miss Magnuson was, I don't think it's appropriate to say that you need a time machine. I think it'd be more appropriate if you had a time and space machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And I still remember, uh, like at first she was asking like, why specifically a, sp a time and space machine? And the reason being is because at an early age, I was introduced to this because of my uncle that the world is constantly moving. Like if we had a time machine, and in case you don't know why I'm going with this, and yeah, this might be a bit of a boring topic, but hey, this this brought some stuff for, uh... Oh man, I can't do anything. Ah, sorry, Emily. Uh, this brought up a debate with my old science teacher, so whatever. I gotta at least say something like this once in a while. Um... <clears throat> but she got into it with me because... Ooh, Frostbite. Oh, I got an achievement. Extermination Protocol? Obtain victory in 500 battles. Good thing zombies aren't afraid of blood, right? I also got a crystal miniskirt. The name refers to the pleat style. Oh, excuse me. The name refers to the pleat style. Not actually made or adorned with crystals. Still boosts magic potency, though. Oh, I do want this. Well, time to get rid of something. I don't think anyone's gonna work with this. Can I give that to Emily now? Yes, I can. It hurts your attack, but I don't care because that's more for your magic. And that's nothing else, so I think he can't do anything for you. What about you? I don't want to cut your stuff there. How about you? No. Alright. Good. Anyway. Um, so Ms. Magnuson got into it with me. Ugh, not these again. Ms. Magnuson got into it with me because I was like, I don't think it makes sense to have like a space time or a time machine without space. Because the world is constantly moving, right? So if we did like a time machine, and before you're probably wondering like, well, no, a time machine is like you're able to travel through time. Yeah, that's true. You are able to travel through time. But the problem is, if you travel through time, you're not really essentially guaranteed you're gonna land on exactly the spot of Earth. Like, say you go back like, it may be all right if you go back a year or something because yeah, maybe uh, you won't be moved too far or something, right? But if you say you go back like 10 years or something, do you really think you're going to end up right back where you are? No, you're, you're going to be in a different place in space because the Earth's constantly moving. For all we know, you could be drifting off in space because the Earth moved 10 years. Like, the move, or the Earth moves every, like, second, right? Well, at least I don't know if it moves every second. Maybe I'm wrong on this aspect. But I know it moves constantly, like, every moment, right? So I got into it with Miss Magnuson because she was like, it doesn't make sense that... And yes, she was my science teacher. Granted, I will give it to her. Uh, she was of age, let's all gonna say. She was of a high age. Um, and I wasn't trying to argue with her. Uh, but the, the reason why I got into an argument because she was making me like, I didn't want to do another report. Like I, I was already doing so much stuff on this. I had my uncle help and we had like a time limit to do it. I didn't want to have to do my report over and over, right? So I just did it. And eventually like, she was frustrated because like we went into it and then we ended up getting into it and basically even though she was like no don't do this do this instead and i get it yeah i'm supposed to listen to my teacher but i felt right about this one i was like i, I want to stick with this subject because i think it's interesting to me and uh my friend my classmate at the time was like i think you should go for it why not screw the teachers it's not like they care about your life and i was like eh, eh, whatever Granted, this was like my high school, my freshman year. I really think it was my freshman year now that I think about it because I remember, uh, my, my, remember my classes and periods and I remember my other teachers. I think it was freshman year. Um, but I, I just, I stuck with it. And you're probably wondering what grade she gave me. She gave me a C. Uh, granted, I still got straight A's. So luckily I just aced like every other thing to balance up for it. But it was still one of those things where it was like, really? He gave me a C, and it was truly spiteful. Like, it really was. And I know someone's gonna be like, that just was seems like it was less of because you're grading more of spite. It's like, oh, it was. And the funny, uh, funny fact about it, too, is that during lunch period, there was another science teacher uh, named Mr. Ogilvy. Uh, shout out to you, my man. I miss you, dude. You were, like, one of the coolest teachers ever. 
Uh, but Mr. Ogilvy like had like a really cool classroom, and where we were, it was like super hot even during like the winter time. So his classroom was always like nice and cool. And as long as we didn't like, as long as we didn't mess with uh, too many things, we could like go on the computers uh, and like I don't know play like computer games and stuff. Like he was the coolest teacher, dude. Uh, I taught, I brought up with Mr. Ogilvy, and he was like. No, I think that's pretty sound. I would have given you an A for sure. I was like, right? And he was like, yeah, but I mean, I, I get it. Like, I, I totally stand with you. Miss Magnuson just has her, like, her moments. I was like, that doesn't... That sucks. So, yeah, that, that's just... That's my, my whole rant on that. I'm sorry, I just had to let it out. And again, Miss Magnuson, if you hear me, like, if you recognize my voice and you're able to, like, watch this video about dead darlings of all things, and you're able to figure out who I am, I'm sorry. I still think I'm right on this. <clears throat> Granted, this was years ago, so obviously it, it probably it doesn't matter anymore. But it's more of a principle thing. Like, come on, man. I, me, I don't know. What do you viewers think? Do you think it was justly deserved that I deserved that C because I wanted to have my way, or do you think I deserved it because I was debating against my teacher? Like, is it because one's a teacher that you're supposed to follow what they say, or is it because you're certain of yourself that you go against what your teacher's actions are or, or words are, and decide to stick to your guts? Like, l let me know in the comments section. I'm, I'm curious, but I'm, I'm moving on. I'm sorry. I, I just had to get that out of there. <clears throat> Summer breeze, a heavy. A uh, star says the stream keeps cutting out at times. Does it really? I am not seeing that. Just a few seconds of pause. Oh, 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 oh. no, I, I get you. I know exactly what it is because I'm pausing on the save screen and I don't think it pops up on my stream. Don't worry, that's because I'm looking at my playback and everything's going good. No, no, no. Uh, whenever I save my game, it takes me to the save screen, but I don't think it pops up on stream. So don't worry, we're, we're good. I, I get you. <clears throat> Summer heeds I sigh so heavy it almost bows you over. Your breath stinks, you know. Star says, I mean, when you went with your gut, I agree with you, man. Like, I, I think so too. Like, it just... It just, and it just pause as well. Like, did it? Is it pausing right now? Because I'm purposely leaving it paused, or I'm purposely leaving the thing going. But no, it's just ah. <clears throat> You're starting to rage. It's it's a weird it's a weird tirade. I know, and there's a lot more I have. I'm not gonna talk about this episode. I guess it's just because I didn't talk about anime yet. I don't know. <clears throat> huh? Oh, sorry. Is something the matter? You're uncharacteristically a demure. Alrighty, it cuts off your speech at times? Oh no, does it really? Let's change that up. Sorry, viewers, I hope that isn't the case. I'm just gonna turn up my thing. There we go. Alright, we're back into it. Sorry, folks, just did like a quick second. I just had to adjust my mic. I uh, want to make sure that my voice is going nice and clear. Hopefully, uh... It has been too problematic. We'll work this. A work in progress. <clears throat> I'm what? Uh, uh, sorry. Again, I guess being back in a school has gotten me thinking about stuff. Crap. What voice did I give Emily? It's been so long since I had an Emily cutscene. <clears throat> one's environment does not impact one's mental tether with the cosmic ones. I, too, have had visions of my past best forgotten. I'm not doing her justice because Emily's real voice is like super cute and adorable, but it's kind of funny giving her like a deep, uh, like booming voice. Okay, are you trying to empathize with me or something? <laughs> of course not. I am not weak like you, so these visions do nothing but strengthen my resolve of this world's new overlord. Fine, I'll ask. What kind of stuff is on your mind? It is on your mind. It's not like I particularly care, but it's dangerous for all of us if you space out. Don't worry about it. I appreciate the gesture, though. I'm with Jordan. We're all here for each other, so don't keep in anything that could endanger us. Every time Jordan would spill her secrets to me, she'd get all flustered and leave a lot happier than when she arrived. Th that's because you always made fun of the stuff I tell you. And for the record, I was not happier. I just felt better that it wasn't bottled up inside. <laughs> Can't argue with you two, since you've been buds forever. Hmm. Do as you will. Your queen shall lend an ear, but do not expect sympathy. Yes, I did say queen with this voice. So, I come from a pretty big family. 
My old man was from Brazil, and he married an American woman who kept feeding him ideas about Brazilian energy drinks. Oh, I didn't know that. She's Brazilian? That's awesome. She definitely doesn't look Brazilian. Then again, they are dead. Or undead. Huh, learned something new. Summer's Brazilian. Go figure. Long story short, that's what he ended up doing. Moved up here, opened up a Brazilian energy drink shack, and managed to get it distributed locally. Juice Jetsu, right? That's the one. But my horny old man wouldn't stop getting my mom knocked up, so our family got bigger than the business. <laughs> huh. To sow one seed in a crowded garden invites self-destruction. Uh, right. I was a third kid. My two older brothers chose to help my old man with the business. I guess it's cheaper to hire a family to help out. Exactly. So, tch, damn it. Summer's eyes wells up with tears. She turns from the group and swats at her face with her jacket sleeve. I was supposed to be the one to get a degree. They wanted me to take it over or something. I didn't even get to finish. They were looking out for me, but it means nothing thanks to this outbreak. Obviously, I'm going to say this. Obviously. Did it seriously pause for a short second? It's seriously, I'm not seeing it weird on my... Star says that it's pausing for a, uh, a hot second. Is it really doing this? Like, I'm going through it, it's weirdly not, like... I'm looking at the playback and it's going fine. But it might, a star says, but it might be mine as well. I don't know. I hope not. Viewers, uh, let me know. I, I, I'm looking at the playback. I'm hoping it's not like something with my capture software or Twitch or YouTube. I'm really hoping it's not boofing up, but let's digress and continue on. Not yet, anyway. Huh? Reggie's right. It's not like this is the end. We're gonna find a place to use the cure, and then we'll just resume where we left off. Surely you've been able to study what will come in handy. Maybe a degree won't be as important. The knowledge you gained while you were in college might just be enough to get Stu Jitsu running again. She believes this because she never made it to orientation. Because she's a kid. Shut up. I didn't plan for this to happen either. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of it that way. Can't give up yet, right? That doesn't like me at all. I gotta kick some zombie ass and cure myself. Then I'll open up Juice Jitsu thanks to all that college business recruitment. Acumen. Or acumen. Right. Hmm. The matter is resolved then. Perhaps having minions around to lend an ear to my sorrowful tales from lives in eons past would not be so bad. Thanks, you guys. M mostly Jordan and Reggie. Emily, you didn't really... You, you didn't really do anything. Just saying. But anyway, we gotta keep moving. I gotta fight something to get rid of all this energy. Cool. That's the summer I like having around. Me too. The conversation concludes. Everyone begins to uh, explore refreshed. Hmm. I'm wondering... Like... What the alternative choice would have been. I don't feel like, even for Emily's sake, that would have been good. <clears throat> Jesus, God, I'm getting really high with Jordan and uh, Summer. Holy moly. All right, is there anything else on this floor? I don't think so. Was there anything left with uh, Jordan, though? Again, I want to get all of Jordan done. I'm just going to use another hook. I really want to make sure here. <clears throat> and not to go on another tirade about my teacher. No, I'm moving on. So I'm just gonna look at the sub events thing again. Any Jordan ones, any Jordan ones. I wanna get Jordan completely done so that way I can move on to the next one. Okay. Jordan was a Kohai, no. I need Pearl and Cece for the second floor. And then I think that's it for Jordan. Nope, I need Jordan and Emily on the second floor again. So I need Emily, Pearl and Cece. So if that's the case, because I'm probably going to do Pearl next. I don't think I need Summer anymore with uh, Jordan. Let me do the P Jordan Emily one, and then let's do the CC one with Emily. Do I have anything to store while I'm at here? Here, have some... Actually, no. Gotta free up some room. Gotta free up some room. Gotta let her down gently. Gotta let her down gently. Star says gold. What's gold? 
Gold as in gold member. Gold as in solid gold. Or anything like that. I know what's gold. Gold is in... I can't believe I'm still in this freaking dungeon. I really was hoping to beat the school. This might end up being an extra long episode. Or maybe a two-parter. Is there any way to get to the second floor from here is a question. No, there isn't. In fact, I think I went the wrong way. Let me go to the front. Alright, let's try this again. How do I get up? How do I get high up, baby? I have to do it. I have to do it. I'm determined. It has to be done. Okay. This one is somewhere in CC. I need to go higher? Is there a way higher? Yes. Oops, going the wrong way. This way. Go through here. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, this one's the Jordan Emily one. Which is X8... Y21, so it's very high up, but over to the... I think it's that one. I think it's this one here. Okay, so how do I get to there is a question. Hopefully not falling. There's clearly a... There's clearly traps here. Do I have a flashlight? I do have one flashlight. Which is good that I did. Because, of course, there was a hole. Actually... Rebel scum. No, not you! I hate this thing, man. I hate this enemy. This enemy is the worst in the entire game. That's right, I said it. And granted, yeah, maybe I don't know properly, but come on. This enemy sucks. What's Frostbite? <clears throat> Dropped a sharpened icicle so big, people may confuse it for a really cold-looking stalactite. It technically is, though, so props to them. Shame you're not weak to ice. I would definitely try it. I'll worry about it next time, though. Get it, Pearl. Good stuff. Job well done. Alright, let's keep moving, because I hate this dungeon. Got the flashlight on. We're good. Uh, Star says, Welp, have a good evening, dude. I uh, appreciate you, Star. I really do. Oh, more of that? Really? Okay. No, how do I get there? Oh, I have to go this way. Urban Shawl. Star says, may you survive? I really hope so, too. This hip accessory... <clears throat> this hip accessory is made for city slickers. It has pockets for your phone, tablet, and thick room glasses on the side. So it cuts my attack, my magic, my defense and resistance, but it's good for someone... I think it's good for Jordan. Which is funny, because I have Jordan on me. No, it's actually not good for Jordan. Ooh, not... Equipping that, then. In fact, that probably will be destroyed. Heh heh heh. Alright, I need to start breaking some weapons. Now that I think about it, we need to start getting some work done here. Do it! Now I'm angry. As you should be, Emily. Farewell. And I understand, it's because I haven't really been utilizing you in a lot of... in a long time. I feel bad. Uh, okay. I don't need the urban shawl. What else do I not want? I don't want this. It's probably fine. Let me get this. More popcorn, sure. Uh, is there anything else in this? I don't see it. Wait, what is this? What's this one? X2? Wait, is it that one over there? No, it shouldn't be. Hmm. It isn't this one. Darn it. This one's the Kyrie Summer one. Okay, so it is that one that I had the idea of back over there. Daggummit! And now I don't have a flashlight, so now I gotta use the map so I don't fall down and waste my time any further. Oh, the school dungeon is the worst. And what's even... What's popping up in waves, now that I'm thinking about this, in a weird, like, retroactive thing, or retrospect... Or foresight. I don't know the proper term. 
But what's getting to me is, uh, didn't they say at the beginning of this, like the very beginning, I had to go through the school and through, um, I don't want this. I had to go through the school and I had to go through a hospital. I haven't even been to the hospital yet. Man, they really like, I mean, I'm still having a good time. It's all good. And I hope you viewers are as well. I know this game is definitely a bit on the slow pace thing, but I'm hoping with the story and everything, you guys are uh, interested. And not this again, uh, and where this is going. Let's see. I need X8, so I think I need to go to this one up top there. How do I get to that one? I need to go left. And I think at least this is the last uh, one I need for Jordan. So that's one girl done for sure. What's this? A carpet kukri? The kukri knife does look a tiny. Oh, excuse me. The kukri knife does look a tiny bit like a carpet cutter. Maybe. This provides not really much of a benefit, just for a knife, which I don't really want. Then again, I don't really want this either. Oh, hold on, item. Darn it! I got baited. Oh, okay, never mind. I got this. I got this for sure. Do it. You're dead. Take this. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery. Yeah. Too bad. You lose. Give me. Crow pinion again? I don't want these. Now that I have revival skills, I don't really need them. Alright, I think this is the last one with Jordan, I'm pretty sure. Wait, was there a Jordan Emily one? There was a Jordan Emily one, wasn't there? Oh! Hey, Reggie, give me a hand. Jordan points above her, where a box of potential supplies is stowed atop a tall shelf. Oh, sure. But, but it's not like I can't get it myself. My arms are just tired and you happen to be the closest person to me right now, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Such theatrics. Huh? Where'd you come from? <laughs> I am everywhere and nowhere. I am the Alpha, the Omega. I am her omniscientness. Oh wait, no, it's that crema. Her omniscientness. Yes. I don't need to point out the irony in her calling me out for theatrics, do I? You just did. Whatever. All right, Emily, what theatrics are you talking about? Your demeanor is but a facade. I can see beyond the masks others wear due to the all-seeing third eye bestowed upon me by the cosmic ones, specifically one known as Igor. Igor? Yes. You will definitely recognize him. He is a very interesting man with a very long nose. Seems familiar. I'll keep that in mind. You desire attention. You wish to be doted on, nay, spoiled by this mortal sack of flesh. Hey now. I'm a good-looking sack of flesh, thank you. Heh. <laughs> Do not despise me for uttering the truth. Sp spoiled? Uh, it's spoiled by Reggie? It's not like that at all. My arms are tired, but I still want to see what's in that box. What's in the box? Then break through your lethargy and obtain it with your own strength. The ever obstinate Jordan huffs and reaches up for the box. She groans and stands on her tiptoes and then starts to hop and flail her arms at the box. So I'm too short, okay? Doesn't change the fact that Reggie was the closest person. That's why I asked him. I'm not tall, I'll spoil you all. Now that I think about it, isn't Emily like way taller than me? Hmm. Uh, I wanna say I spoil you. I wanna see Jordan get flustered more. She probably will like it. I'd be happy to spoil you, Jordan. Huh? You pat her on the head and retrieve the box without another word. Here you go. Uh, um, th thanks. She half-heartedly opens the box before setting it on a nearby desk. It's empty. Aw, lame. Aw, poor thing. If it's empty, then I'll give you something to make you feel better. You pat Jordan on the head again and attempt to hug her. Get away, you perv. She slaps your hands away before backing up a step. 
You dote on her, you foolish fool. This will be your undoing. How can others trust one who shows favor to a single individual? Huh? How about anyone who asks, not just Jordan? Did you not think that they only ask because they wish to have the same treatment that they bore witness to? I don't understand. Actually, I don't get it. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. In the last room we explored, did not another seek your aid? Yeah, Kyrie needed me to look through some documents with her. She only has one good eye, so... And in the room, and in the room before that. Pearl asked me if the tag was sticking out on the back of her shirt, so I tucked it back in. Her arms are all messed up, so I figured it would spare her a little pain. Do you see? Why was that an Emily one? I thought that was a Jordan one. Uh, I don't want Reggie to spoil me, but I don't want him to pay more attention to other people either. Whoa. Ha ha ha. The theatrics take an even more dramatic turn. Be at ease, flame-haired minion. Cease not, war not. But the hell does that even mean? Uh, Jordan, if you need help, just ask. Don't worry about it. I'm not trying to play favorites, so relax. I don't need you to tell me that. But I won't ask unless I really do need help. You got that? My work here is done. Let us go, Dichroma. Of course you mediator this. Wait, did she do that on purpose to like... Oh, clever. Emily departs, leaving you alone with a flustered Jordan. That was so dumb. What's her deal? It's not like I try extra hard to hang out with you. Sometimes it just works out that way. Yeah, and I'm glad it does. R really? I mean, of course you are. Treasure those rare opportunities. Okay, okay, I will. The conversation concludes and everyone begins to explore refreshed. I think Emily did that on purpose just to try and mediate. Uh, please tell me is that everything I need with Jordan. At least tell me I made at least some progress on that. There has to be... I think that's it for Jordan. I really do think so. Away. I got to know. I got to know. Okay, I'm looking for Jordan. Looking for Jordan. Pearl, Kyrie, Summer. Pearl, Kyrie, Cece. Kyrie, Summer, Cece. Pearl and Emily. Summer and Cece. Kyrie and Cece. Cece and Emily. Pearl, Jordan, and Cece. Ah! Uh, there's one more freaking Jordan! Okay, it's on the second floor E. But I think that's it, right? Yes, that's it. Next person I'm gonna work on is Pearl, by the way. Okay, so I need Cece instead of Emily. Uh, how to get there is the question. I know it's the second floor at least, but I don't remember how to get there. But it has to be done. Is it this floor? Uh, no. Maybe one floor more? It has to be. It has to be. Ah, uh, who? Why? Do you mind? I'm busy. Go away. Who wants to who wants to die? You. You and you. Right. Pearl and Cece are slow, huh? Ow. Ow again. All right, one down or two down. All right, Pearl, just get it over with. Thank you. There goes the Pearl of Celtics, freeing up some more space for me. That's the idea, Pearl. Uh, what's the weaker weapon? Probably this knife. 240, 252, 244. Yeah, the knife. Time for the knife to go bye-bye. Okay, is it here? No, it's not here. Is there another like staircase somewhere? Over here at least. I don't remember where the cutscenes are. It would be easier and quicker if I knew. 
And I'd be able to go through this like cake. Ah, oh, man, it's not here either. Is it over here? Or is this back on the first floor? This is back on the first floor, isn't it? Because that was a staircase down. Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Yeah. It's not here either. Oh, where is it? It's probably back up there. <sighs> Great. Fantastic. So I have to backtrack now. Just because I'm trying to figure this out. The school sucks. I think this is so far the worst dungeon. I'm not saying I'm not having fun. Don't get me wrong. But let's be honest. This is a bit of a drag. But at least I'm having fun playing this game. Why am I not using your weapons? I don't know. I'm just going to break the weapons. Double slash. Just for the sake of breaking. Alright, do it. Poison? Nope. Like if it was quicker to get to where I need to do, it would be great. Uh, CC learn Point Dexter? What's Point Dexter? I feel like it's a familiar skill. Yeah, it's the one that uh, Kyrie has. It's the uh, accuracy buff. Is it better to fall down here? Yeah, it is, because I need to go back to that floor anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm already kind of feeling where this video might end up being. Ow. I thought, okay, I'd be able to probably handle and get through this. I grossly underestimated how vast the school was. So most likely, we'll see how it goes, but most likely what this will be is... How do I get there? It might be not this episode. I am determined, though. But I might not actually be... Wait, how do I get over there? Wait, how do I get back there? Oh, I have to... Ugh, it would have been better if I warped back home. Uh... Yeah. And there's no way to, like, just warp back there, either. I literally have to start from, like, the first floor. Ugh. It wish it let me start from certain floors. It will be a lot easier. And a lot quicker, too. Just saying. But it's okay. This game is a sleeper gem. How do I get there? Okay, flip the switch. I'm gonna flitz the switch. Oops, too far. I know, I have the map out. Sorry, it, it plans it quicker. Ooh, monsters. What doesn't help is having these mooks come out of nowhere wanting some. But I'm already like feeling like it may not be, I think my plan is probably gonna change. Because I really thought, okay, I could probably get all the cutscenes done. Because now that I got all the cutscenes, it'd be easier to get to it. What I forgot is how much of a pain it was to get to those cutscenes. <clears throat> what was I thinking? I totally baited myself. I totally gaslit myself something fierce. Why did I think I'd be able to get through it quicker? I don't want these crow pinions. Um, I think the Sling of David. Well, let's see. I don't know what it actually is. Is a Sling of David a weapon? Or, well, I mean, obviously it is. But I don't know if it's... Is it a sword? What is a Sling? Oh, like a Sling shot? I have no clue what it would be. Oh, it's a ranged weapon, huh? Yeah, I think it is like a... Like a, a ranged weapon. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> Take this. Bye. We're so cool. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking like it might end up being, if not one, two more episodes of the school at least, because I'm doing the cutscenes now, right? I could probably get through it quick, assuming I could get there and not deal with these mooks that I keep getting my way. Yes, I said mooks. Sue me. Uh, actually, no, let me get rid of that one. Do 
on the two, and... You don't have any, like, slap moves or anything? No? Oh, whatever. Wow, not enough. Oh, there goes the Kukuri. Um, like this? Kukuri, excuse me. Alright, uh, any elements? Yes, there is. Ah, darn it, used the wrong one. Should've used, uh, I mean, oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I should've used Luminescent Beam. Okay, flip the switch. Trickle the blue. Like, at least get Jordan done. And I did discover all the cutscenes, so I did technically make progress. Is it the progress I wanted? No. But it is progress nonetheless, and I'm still grateful. Plus, to be fair, I actually really haven't been doing much when it comes to cutscenes, so... Having one or two episodes dedicated to cutscenes isn't that bad. <clears throat> even if it can be a bit of a drag. Well, it's not even a drag of, like, the cutscenes. I like doing the cutscenes. It's just a problem getting to the cutscenes. And I really hope the hospital isn't nearly as problematic as this. Okay, not this floor. I need to go higher. I need to go higher, baby. Oh, I forgot to give Pearl a new weapon. Um... We should start going a little easier on Pearl's weapons, though. Great, so I could use this one, no problem. I could... After I break this next weapon for Pearl, I should start relaxing. Okay, it's here. Which is X9, Y30. So it's all the way down here. I think it's that one. No, 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 wait. Why is... No. It's this one, I think. All the way over there. So now I just gotta get to that one. What's the best way to get to that one is the question. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Luckily, at least I won't have to worry about having a big map up in the hospital in the once I get to the hospital. But it's only made me even more curious about this hospital. Because I'm worried. What if the hospital's this bad? Oh god, what if the hospital's this bad? What am I gonna do if the hospital's this bad? Uh, what is this one? Summer Kyrie Pearl? Wait, what is it? Stupid death mazes? Yes! I understand. It's frustrating as all kind of fudge. Mmm. Fudge. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not really much into chocolate. Ooh, yeah, you thought I was joking about that. Nah, I'm not really a chocolate guy. Uh, hat trick on you. Bum and thrust. Alright, let's do it. Forgot, Jordan's the only fast one. Ow. Do you guys mind? One down. Two down. Uh, one on you. No, no, no. Physical attacks, right? You're weak to blunt attacks? Yes. On you. And you. Alright, do it. All right, the eggs are done. Too bad. You lose. I'm not going for the item. I just want to go for the cutscene. And not fall. So I'm paying very close attention to my map. It's cool suit him. I don't think I need that, but I have it anyway. Okay. Uh, no, not that one. It is this one for sure up here. How do I get to that one? I need to go around here. Oh, man. Might as well get this item that's on the way. I'm gonna have a lot of scrap too, so... Whoa! Game freaked out for a second. What's this? I don't want this! I don't want this! Goodbye, I don't care. Get ready, everyone. Ugh, do you mind? I just wanna, like, flirt with the girls more. You guys keep getting in my way! What do you want from me? Actually, other than to kill me, I guess. Bye. Don't apologize, you got your job done. Just like that, two of them are done. 
One on you. One on you. One on you. Do it. All right, let's move on. We won. I know we did, cause I'm awesome. Ooh, or as the kids say, epic. Probably. Uh, hat trick on you. Eh, just one at a time. Screw it. The more damage, the better. Why did I not use eviscerate on the enemy that's weak to it, though? I don't know. Eviscerate. Uh, hat trick again. You know what? I'm just gonna do the same things again. Oh, that's right. I forgot. CC a sweep, huh? I didn't think about that. Ugh, oh, what a miss. Luckily, Pearl does what the job uh, gets the job done. Hard candy. Last lore than Chewy Candy, but some of the romance is lost. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. And that's new, too. Never discovered it. Which means I have to keep it. Uh, get rid of the school. Scoot him. Okay, where is this at? Just gotta get this item real quick. Don't want that. Okay, it has to be this one. This has to be the last Jordan one, right? Like, it just it has to be. It must be. No, it's the wrong one. Wait, where is that? Oh, I didn't see it because of the map. It's over there. Darn it. I don't have a flashlight. We can do it. I know we can, but it's a matter of how long it takes. It's frustrating as fudge. Hat trick on you. Bump and thrust. Do it. Same moves? Yes. But they do so much damage, so why not? You missed, because you suck. I was about to say, if I miss my move, then I'd be like, I missed because I suck. Also, blood vials are really good. I'm surprised they're giving me those. Those blood vials are really good stuff. Warm soda? Sure. I ran out of room? Alright, um... Crow opinion. Okay, it has to be this one for sure. Seriously. Let this be the end for Jordan for a minute. Actually, now that I think about it, I've been kind of doing a lot with Jordan. She and Cece, too. Jeez Louise. Although what's messed up, too, is that I think I got more, like, Cece ones to come, now that I think about it. Oh, we'll get to it later. Aww, it feels so nostalgic, walking through high school hallways like this. Yeah, it really hasn't been long enough for me to think of it as nostalgic. What with how things are now, I really miss those days. High school really must be the best years of our lives, huh? Eh, I, I agree with that. I had a lot of good things going on with me in high school. I'd go back if I could. <laughs> well, most of us, I suppose. No. Holy crap. What's your glitch, Cece? Oh, don't worry. I don't need you to scratch my back or anything. Um... I don't want to hear you talking about how super awesome high school was when you didn't get to really experience college life. No, that's fair. It was way better. Is that so? The popular saying is about high school, though. Well, that's because, uh, that saying didn't go to college. I think you mean to say that the people who made that up are, are saying from an era when college education was a rarity. Yeah, okay. But it really was better. How so? I never bothered to apply to the universities near me, so I honestly have no idea. And I never got to attend orientation thanks to the stupid zombie crap. That's so sad. I'm gonna cry for you, okay? I don't think she needs you to cry for her. See? You really don't have to do that. Well, I went to the college closest to my home, so I wouldn't have to stay in a dorm. So you and I have to wonder if it was... Uh, excuse me. So even if I have to wonder if I was missing out. Not you too, Reggie. There's so many reasons why it's the most awesomest place ever. Uh... Underage drinking or freedom? Um, I, hmm, I, um, 
Here's where I'm confused on this one. Where's the game take it if I say underage drinking? And I don't want it to be like people be like, oh, Vitamin, you support underage drinking? No, I don't support underage drinking. But I know this game. This game's gonna throw a, throw a weird curveball. We've been through this before. Mm. Maybe I should play it safe and choose freedom. Although, quite frankly, I don't know who's gonna benefit from what. You know what? I don't wanna get canceled. I'm choosing freedom. It's gotta be the freedom. Even though I kept living at home, that total sense of, excuse me, that sense of total control over my day was pretty empowering. Hmm, I think I'd have trouble deciding what to do. I'd have trouble waking up for class if they don't care whether I'm not I'm there. Ding dong, bing pong. Reggie is so right. And that's why I love him. Hey now, don't say that. So these girls get jealous quickly. What are you done? Yep, I already knew. Pearl's eyes twitch worse than a snake whose head just got lopped off. Wow, that's very detailed. Jordan's eyes fall to the floor, her face growing a shade more red. Freedom from Papa and Mama was my favorite part. I love them more than you, Reggie, but I didn't have to sneak around anymore. What do you mean, sneak around? Um, I don't know. Knowing her, she probably wanted to go out and party more than her friends were comfortable, her parents were comfortable with. Uh-huh. Why do you think that? Am I super see-through? Oh, oh. Am I super see-see-through? Yes, don't worry, I understand. It hurt to say it, too. Ugh. She's not denying it. College makes you feel more like an adult in a bunch of ways. Independence, cool control, decisions. I guess what I mean is that you learn to take responsibility for your actions. There's nobody to explain yourself to, but you also gotta live with the things you choose to do. Huh. It's, sorry, no, I, I was saying that as me, as V, that, as vitamin. That, that was a very profound statement. Huh. That makes sense. Also, why was I affected by this? Who knows? You start to become the person you'll be for the rest of your life. That's kind of cool sounding, Cece. I know. That's why I said it. So do I get a big bear hug for it, Reggie? Uh, I, don't, I don't like where this is going. Alright, well, here we go. Without waiting for your approval, Cece wraps you in a giant hug. Even though she squeezes you tight, it still feels soft and squishy, like being buried in a pile of memory foam pillows. Okay, that's enough of that. We gotta keep moving. Let's go of him. Y yeah, high school or college, whatever. The fact remains we don't have either anymore, so we gotta focus on the present. Aww, fine. The conversation concludes, thank God to your lifespan, Reggie, and everyone begins to explore refreshed. Yeah, thank God indeed. Also, double thank God, I think I've done all the Jordan ones. Ugh. Seriously. Not to say it was a pain, but... I think I finally got all the Jordan ones done. Now comes a new issue. With Jordan done, how many is left? I should focus on Pearl, but I don't need... Jordan anymore, so maybe I'll do... Kyrie next? Well, I do want Emily and Kyrie for the end game, for when I finally beat this. So maybe I should do CC. It kind of depends on who I want. I know I want Emily and I want Kyrie. I think I want Summer. I think I want my end team to be Summer, Kyrie, and Emily. So let's do all the ones with Pearl and CC. So Pearl and CC aren't leaving. So now I need everyone but Pearl and CC. So who's next is the question. Kyrie will be on the first floor. Emily for the end. I want to get Pearl done too, so I'll need Emily at some point. Kyrie can get CC done. Emily can get CC done. I think Kyrie would be beneficial to get a couple people done. Yeah, because I can get CC done with that one, and I can work on Pearl as well. Yeah, okay, let's do... Uh, I don't need Jordan anymore. Let's do Kyrie, which is an interesting team, a very interesting team. 
Actually, wait, really quickly. Since I'm not going to need Jordan anymore, I might as well give Jordan her best weapon. Because I'm probably not going to play with Jordan anymore. At least until I get to the freaking hospital. So I'm going to give you the best one. Which is the Iron Hungamungus. Actually, is there anything left for Jordan too? Because I'm probably not going to play as her anymore. I don't think so. Alright, now I can do Kyrie. And now here's the other issue. How am I going to do this next episode? Because I got to call it here. Hmm. This school has definitely been on the slow side. And it's definitely been on a bit of a slow burn. So what I'm probably going to do is an extra long episode just to for sure get it done. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because, to, to be fair, we discovered all the cutscenes, so it's not like I'm missing any cutscenes. I could get them all done. But here's what I'm going to do, folks. In exchange for being unable to beat the school this episode, I don't care how long it is, I am determined. I go to beat the school and get the sub-events next episode for sure. So, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for bearing with me. I know it's a bit on the slow side, but then again, I kind of figure it's on the slow side, and you know I know why? Because I did say episodes ago I was going to start my episodes with anime references, and I did it too late. So I'm going to have to do it from here on out. So thank you all for bearing with me. I apologize for not doing... Uh, uh, I apologize for not starting with the anime opener. I'm definitely going to do better next episode. So yeah, I'm, I'm determined. Next episode is going to be an extra long one. Well, we'll see how it goes, but for sure, I'm going to beat the school. I don't care how long it is. If it gets too long, I'll maybe do it in two parts, but I am going to do, I'm going to beat the school. It has to be done. We need to go to this freaking hospital. And seriously, screw my dad. Why did he make, why, why do I have to go through all these, these stupid desk mazes? Exactly. You, you said it yourself, game. But nonetheless, thank you all for tuning in on this episode. On behalf of Star, thank you guys for bang with me. And like I said, uh, we're getting through it. And I'm going to start with a proper anime episode, uh, anime opener. No, it's not going to be an anime whole ep anime episode, but I am determined for it. So, like I said, thank you for bearing with me, and I hope to see you guys on the next episode. Farewell.